My father's name was Wathahuk, or as you would say in English, the bright path the lightning makes as it goes across the sky. He was the most incredible athlete of the 20th century. Most remember him as Jim Thorpe and for the gold medals he won in the 1912 Olympics. He won both the decathlon and the pentathlon, a feat no one's ever duplicated. His scores in the combined 15 events were off the charts. He set records that took decades to break. What do you remember my dad for? The medals that he won? The records that he broke? Or the town that changed its name to his? My dad, you may know him. Or maybe you think you know him. Sure, he was famous. And yeah, he won some gold medals at the Olympics. But that didn't change who he was. My dad, who was always Sack and Fox, Thunder Clan of the Sack and Fox Nation. And that's one thing you should know about us Indians. We're no different than white people or any other kind of folks. We want to bury our loved ones with our loved ones, with our mothers, our fathers, and our brothers. I spent years trying to bring Dad back. I begged, I pleaded, I prayed. And when that didn't work, I did what you non-Native folks do all the time. I filed a lawsuit. This is it. These are the trees that surrounded him. Can you hear them? The birds? Those are the birds that sang to him. Oh, and the sky. That big pink Oklahoma sky. And the red earth. My dad played in this dirt when he was a kid. This is home. My home. His home. We were born in this dirt, and when we die, we go back to this dirt. Or at least that's what dad wanted. We are all buried here, except Dad. They took him, buried him far away from here, someplace they named Borough of Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, a place he'd never even seen. A Sack and Fox burial ceremony lasts four days. The fourth day is important. That's when the elders hold their name return ceremony. We have two spirits. We have our big spirit, we have our little spirit. And when you pass, an elder gives your little spirit a name. That says to your little spirit, it's okay, you can go on now. Before my father's passing, no one had ever interrupted a Sack and Fox burial. So when Patsy walked in there and took his body, we didn't know what to do. We just sat there in shock. Suddenly, out of nowhere, this white guy burst in. We knew something was wrong. The white guy, he came in the wrong door. Only the dead come in and out that door.